Hey guys, it's Shayna, and today we're gonna get super up close and personal with Brandon as he whitens his teeth with the Smile Brilliant Professional Whitening Kit. And just so you know you're not wasting your time, here's the before and after pictures. This is only after four days of using this kit, so it does really work. So here's a quick overview of everything that comes with it, and we're gonna go over everything in detail. So before we do that, I have to let you know that it's super important that you brush and floss your teeth before every application because you want to make sure that it whitens evenly. So we're going to start off with the molds to make the whitening trays. You'll want to grab that catalyst and base paste and mix those together very well. You'll want to move pretty quickly because this stuff does tend to harden very fast. Take about another 30 seconds to actually put the putty in the tray. When you put the trays in your mouth, make sure your teeth are in the middle of the tray. And this is really important because the quality and the accuracy of your teeth whitening trays does depend on this. You'll want to leave the tray in your mouth until the putty hardens, which usually takes about two to two and a half minutes. And make sure you're pressing so that the putty goes over your gum. Pull the tray straight down. Don't wiggle it because you want to have a good quality impression. You want to verify that you have very clear impressions in the putty. If you don't, try again. Once you verify that it's accurate, repeat the steps to do the bottom tray. The kit does come with very detailed information and an extra set of the base and catalyst paste. So in the event that you do mess up, you can try again. Once you get done, you're going to fill out the card that comes with it and put the trays and the card in the prepaid envelope and mail it off. So after about seven days, Brandon got his whitening trays back and it came in this nice convenient little protective covering. Before we actually pull the whitening trays out, again, you want to make sure you brush and floss every day before each application. We're gonna start with the desensitizing gel. And whether you have sensitive teeth or not, it's suggested that you use it because the whitening gel is very powerful. You wanna put a thin line around the tray and then press the tray down over your teeth. The desensitizing gel only needs to stay in for about 20 to 60 minutes prior to you using the whitening gel. And once you get done, rinse your whitening trays off between every application. Now we're gonna grab that whitening gel and put another thin line inside the whitening trays. And these you're gonna leave on anywhere from 15 minutes to three hours. Of course, the longer you leave the trays in your mouth, the whiter your teeth will get. Brandon left his in for about an hour and a half. And if the gel overflows, just grab a damp cloth and wipe it off. Now I'm gonna show you his day-by-day -day progress. And you can see that this stuff, just over the course of four days, whitened his teeth dramatically. We definitely recommend this kit. If you wanna try the kit out for yourself, the link is in the description bar. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And we thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.